Welcome to Let's Clay, episode Welcome. number probably, this is four, right? This is, <sighs> wait, we did centering and then we did, no, we didn't cut it. I think we'll it's We'll figure four. it out in the, figure it out in the It'll ending. be right on the number this side. This will be number four now. Now that, yeah, now that you made, so what we're gonna do today, we made this teapot, we're gonna make a spout, and then we're gonna make a lid, hopefully, the same episode. So, spout, you can start kind of tall, because, you, it's, you know, it's gonna be a tall spout. Yeah. Make sure it's centered is the only part. And what I'm gonna, what kind of spout I'm gonna make is kind of, it's gonna get, you know, it's gonna kind of flare together, and then we'll cut the top so that it pours nicely. So just doing the same thing as like a, uh, as a, you know, a vase and everything, but much smaller scale. You got fat fingers like me at a disadvantage, and you can go all the way to the bottom yeah. because uh, I guess it's not really suggested because that makes it makes it so that it'll want to fling off. But if you if you accidentally go all the way to the bottom, it's not a big deal. So I guess Eddie, just explain what I'm doing as I do it. So Evan started the, the mound a lot taller. Uh, the spout's gonna be tall and skinny, so it doesn't really matter if you start it uh, if you start it taller than shorter. I think it makes it more difficult to start it at, at a shorter point and bring it up and keep everything centered at the same time. It's just a lot easier to have a centered mound and then uh, open it up like that. Um, op the only disadvantage there is you don't use your thumbs to open it. You'll have to use your index or your middle finger to do it. As well as when you're pulling it, you're gonna have to use those fingers. So like, yeah. for instance, this isn't the spout. I'm gonna keep going and like, I can't fit my hand in there. If I put my hand in there, it's gonna ruin it. So I just go as far down as my finger can go and then I'm gonna pull from there. And another, another technique you can use for this too, uh, you can do a coning type dealio where uh, that's a really bad explanation for it. Uh, you can just Cone cone it from the bottom yeah. up way. Uh, it'll move a little bit of the clay up and it's easier to pull like that. Because uh, uh -huh. once it gets to this height, there's no way you're getting down too far. Yeah. Just put my finger in there. So, what I'm going to get to is hopefully a nice spout. Hopefully. Oh, my, my top is really thick. I'm going to take care of that. You can leave your top thick and just fix that at the end. Don't need to worry about that. I'm getting pretty close to the end. A lot of the, the imperfections with ceramics can be uh, fixed up in the trimming portion. Just like our episodes, we pick, fix everything in post. Yeah, I mean, half the crap I say just does not work out. He overdubs it. it. We, we had to get a voice actor because his voice <laughs> is just so weak. Man, I wonder what he sounds like. I hope he, he represents my 83-year-old like, voice just see, the like, way I'd like it. We have, we're on a budget, so <laughs> unfortunately he sounds like Randy Savage. Oh. After 30 years of smoking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's the whole way through. I, I like it. Snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> Did he do a Slim Jim commercial? Yeah, that's what he was. Dude, are you kidding me? Don't right? say that's what he was known for. Have he you was... not seen like the Skyrim mod where the dragons are all Randy Savage, and like they they like shoot fire at you, and he's like, Yeah, snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> Ooh yeah. I might invest into a PC for gaming just to have this mod. Okay, so got sort of a nice spout going here. I'm trying to get deep. All right, so now I'm gonna pull up. I'm just gonna be like pulling up now with like my two fingers just to get my hand out of the way. And ideally your spout's never gonna be this tall, but based off the enormous size of the pot that we have, a, a taller spout makes a lot more sense. I'm gonna be trimming and cutting a lot of this off. Like this, I'm, I'm pr it's probably only gonna be about that tall. From, well, from where? Like from there, from there to the top. Well, I mean, ideally you're gonna, we'll figure it out, we'll patch things up. Mm -hmm. I'm, I know. I've got different ideas. Evan's the thrower here. I'm just going to provide Eddie's got my... great ideas, and I, then I execute the ideas most of the time. My execution's weak. Eddie does not like to execute. <laughs> it's his favorite Pokemon, though, execute. No, it's not. I'm just kidding. It's actually, uh, it's like, what is it? Is it the, 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 that one flame one from fifth gen, or is it Meloetta? Volcarona's awesome. Volcarona, that's what I'm talking about. Meloetta's cry is great. Um, damn. I was thinking about what it was, and then you said Volcarona, and you threw me off. I think Gallade is, is going to be the one I pick. Gallade? Really? Oh, he's got a Mega Mega new. Mega Evolution. Anyways, this is not a Pokemon po show. This is a clay show. We'll so throw some Pokemon news at you once in a while to keep things spicy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jay Witt's here. Yeah. Um, okay, so now that that's all done, I'm just gonna cut it off. 
Eee. I don't recommend doing that. Daredevil. <laughs> not, not what I would recommend. Uh, Cause if, I need some water in there. Yeah, don't the, do, don't do that. You're gonna do it like this. You're gonna put water on here. You're gonna take the water. You're gonna drag the water underneath. And before you do times. any of before you, you do any of this on my wire now, and I move it. Okay, good to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now you can slide it around. And where's my the boards you got me? Right you throw in the water another there. But why I wouldn't recommend doing that is I'd recommend turning off the wheel first because if the wheel's spinning after you cut it and it's loose enough, your spout's gone. Done so. Now we got a spout. Spout. All right. Cutting right. the spout is going to be a different episode, I'm sure. Uh, but when you cut the spout, you're going to cut the, uh, the inside to match the, the shape of your pot, depending on where you put it on your pot. And then... Um, you got an apron around? Uh, yeah. Good. <laughs> so, I'm going to really quick, I'm run out of time, really quick show you how to make a lid. Can you give me the calipers from up there, Eddie? Calipers, it is, my you. friend. If I could reach them. Just make sure you turn out the bump the mic. All right, bump the mic on slam the it in there. We're gonna throw the lid upside down, if you can kind of grasp that. So. Okay. All right. Can you measure the inside of that for me? All right. Now the calipers are an interesting tool that's very essential for measuring out the size you need your lid to be. I would have used more clay for my lid personally, but that's up to Evan. Ideally, you want to have a snug fit lid, so getting as close to the edges as you can without damaging them is how you're going to want to use your calipers. You put a little nicks in my thing, didn't you? No, 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 they're great. They're looking good. <laughs> as he smooths it out. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing is I'm throwing the lid upside down. So it's like a little mini bowl, and you leave the end, uh, you know, leave kind of a thick thing so you can spin it into a little, like, knob. So doing that, can you give me the cal- make sure I'm getting them up as a good size, Eddie? Put the calipers over here. Let me just make sure I got these things tightened so you don't ruin my my beautiful work. Oh my god. You just No big deal. <laughs> okay. There you just leave. Yeah, here, you can take the whole thing. I, right. I tightened them. If you screw it up, I'll be impressed. So that's pretty good. It's pretty close. Let's bring it up just a hair. Because you can always make it smaller. It's hard to make it bigger once it's leather hard. So there we go. And then at the end. Just kind of, kind of wiggle your finger in there. there. And now you got a lid. That was cool. I've never seen that happen before. Really? Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye now. I was sitting, I don't know what you're doing.